That's Bailu Village. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? Um... Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. <clears throat> Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because they said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Leo. I'll try another settlement. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I don't know. Really? I don't know anything. I see. Hey. And who might you be? You're not a face I recognize. I've got a question. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I'm sorry, dear, but could you save that for later? This is no place for idle chit-chat. I need help with something. 
What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. Not since I saw him go to that house over there, but that was a while ago. Okay, thanks. Do you have a moment? Huh? What is it? There's something I want to ask. What do you want? Don't get all cozy with me. Sorry to bother you. Is anyone there? Uh, looks like no one's home. Excuse me. What do you want? I don't like the looks of you. Uh, okay. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yin? He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at 7 at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. to talk to strangers. Pale Toss? Want to try Pale Toss? Thanks. Aim carefully. Wanna go again? Maybe some other time. Yep, see you around then. Lucky hit. Hello, will you try lucky hit? Now then, pick a platform. The tide's changed? You'll keep going, won't you? Maybe some other time. Hope to see you again soon.
pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I'd... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuan was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? I'm sick and tired of talking about all that. Things are finally starting to get back to normal around here. Sorry to bother you. Do you have a moment? Huh? What is it? There's something I want to ask. What do you want? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Leave me alone. I don't have time for this. Uh, okay. Anything new, y'all? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right then. We'll go together. Good. Leo? Yeah? I've been thinking about the thugs that went to Ling's house. And? I don't think it was a coincidence. I'm with you. They must have had a reason. Let's talk to the villagers together tomorrow. Okay. I want to ask some questions of my own. It smells good. I'm excited to see what will be served. enough to last a millennium. Uh. 
A banana. Do they grow them in the village? Guess I'll take it. Looks good. Guess I'll take it. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? Did your father say anything to you? You know, before he left? No, nothing. But that wasn't unusual. Hmm. Okay. Although... Although what? Now that I think about it, he turned back to look at me several times as he headed for the cave. Interesting. Maybe... he had a feeling he wouldn't be coming back. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I've been thinking about the cave. It was my first time in the cave as well. I had no idea he was crafting something on this scale. I see. The phoenix and dragon are exactly the same as those on the mirrors. And in my father's letter, it says if he knew you would have the mirrors, and that you'd come here. Exactly. But how? We won't know until we ask him ourselves. I guess not. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? You're coming with me to the village tomorrow, right? Yes. We'll find my father. Together. Hey, got a minute? What is it, Liao? I should get some rest. Big day tomorrow. Tomorrow, we should ask as many people as we can. Yeah. That's some serious facial hair. An upside-down fortune symbol. These were all over Hong Kong. Is this Shenhua when she was little? That's probably Yuren in the back. Buddha statue, huh? Good morning, Liu. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Hey, um... What is it, Liu? It's time to make our way to the village. Okay. Let's get moving. Hey, um... Yes? We should get ready to go. Got it. Let's get moving. Hey, Xinhua. Yes? It's time to make our way to the village. Okay. We can talk more on the way. Liu! Let's go. Yeah. Your house is pretty far from the village, huh, Xinhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. 
I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then, how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? That's just how things work here. Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall? Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Ryo, you should come here to practice when you have time. Is that okay? Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? Sorry? Hmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that, I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. You're no simple opponent. <laughs> What say you? Will you join us? Yes, absolutely. Very well. What is your name? Ryo Hazuki. I shall have a name tag prepared for you. You will start from the lowest rank. Rank? Yes. You must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up. You must train day in and day out to improve your kung fu. Whose shop is that? Over the bridge. Oh, it belongs to Uncle Tao. Uncle Tao, huh? Yes, people can get anything they need from his shop. I see. Leo, did you pack anything to eat? Why do you ask? Well, you can't run on an empty stomach. That's a very good point. Be sure to keep a little something on hand in case you get hungry later. A lot of places in the village sell food, too. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Leo, this herb. This is... It's licorice. You can make Chinese medicine with it. So, you can turn this into medicine, huh? Not just this. There are lots of herbs growing in Bailu. Where do they grow? They're all over the place, but you have to really look for them. Oh, really? 
There should be special maps at Uncle Tao's shop. Someone actually made maps? Yes, if you find enough to make some medicine. Uncle Tao will buy them from you. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. Guess I'll go after Shenhua. I would like to know, what's the tall tower just past the village square? Ah, uh, yes, that's the bell tower. What is it for? We ring the bell if there's a fire in the mountains, or if something dangerous is encroaching on the village. Is that why it's so tall? Precisely. It's also a useful landmark, because you can see it from anywhere in the village. That's handy. So, you can find your way back to the square? If you head for the bell tower? That's right. I'll have to keep that in mind. I need help with something. Are you well, Ling? Oh, hi, Shenhua! I see. So you two are friends. Did you see any thugs come here? The people who messed up your house. Nuh-uh. Okay, then. I need help with something. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Can I talk to you about something? Sh Shenhua, w what's up? This is Liu. He's a friend of mine. For real? Did you see any thugs come here? No, but I heard some other people talking about it. Seems like some people got their homes trashed. Okay, thanks. Actually, I'm more worried about Yuan than those thugs. Thanks, Mingyong. Oh, uh, don't mention it. I'm just, you know. Excuse me. You're not from around here, are you? Yue Fang, this is a friend of mine. Um... Is that right? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Word has it they showed up at the Wong household. But Wen's lips are sealed. Maybe she'd open up to you. It's worth a shot. Thank you very much. Just be careful, okay? She'd be heartbroken if anything were to happen to you. Huh? Who would be heartbroken? Shenhua, that's who! Actually, I... Oh dear. There I go, running my mouth again! <laughs> okay, then. I need help with something. Huh? Mei Ling. Oh, hi, Shenhua. Were you a good girl today? Of course. Who's he, Shenhua? This is Liu. He's a friend of mine. I need help with something. Yeah? I'm looking for Wong Wen. We want to talk to your mother. She's... Hey, where'd she go? She was just here a minute ago. She was talking to your Ray Feng. Oh, I see. Thanks a lot. Hey. Who are you, young man? I can't help but notice. You've been wandering around here lately. My name is Ryo Hazuki. Ah, so you're Japanese. Sorry, dear. 
I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm not too partial to strangers. Wait, Mrs. Zheng. Oh, Shenhua. I didn't know you were here. This is Liu. He's my friend. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Now, what can I do for you? I've got a question. Have you seen Wong Wen? There's something I'd like to ask her. Oh, I'm sure she's around here somewhere talking up a storm to someone. I see. Let's go, Ryo. Excuse me. Oh, hey, kid. What do you want? Have you come to apprentice under me? Oh, nothing. You're a beginner, right? You have a name? Ryo Hazuki. Well, Ryo, it's your lucky day. Fear not! For I am the great Suzu Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. What? You don't think I've got what it takes? That's not what I. Then let me show you what I've got. Fight me right now. Ah, oh, man. Look, I'm not opposed, but it's too late now. R it. Was Rio right? Thanks for that. Well, how's it feel? Pretty nice to train with a master like me, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, sure. Come by any time. I'm always up for a fight. Hi there. What is it, Ryo? Hello, Zixiang. Ah, you brought Shenhua with you. Have you seen Wang Wen? There's something I'd like to ask her. I saw her walking that way. I see. Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Hello, one. Senhua. This is my friend, Yo. Oh, really? Your friend? I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? One. Did the thugs show up here? That they did. But my husband drove them off. He's really good to have around in times like these. What did they want? That's what I'd like to know. They kept hollering something about wanting to meet the stonemason. I was inside and didn't see anything. My husband told me about it after it was over. I see. Let's talk to Shiren, one's husband. Good idea. Thanks again. Thanks, one. Hi there. What is it, Ryo? I'd like to talk to your husband. Is he still working? 
He's on watch duty at the Verdant Bridge this time of day. I see. Thanks, one. Hi there. I've heard about you. You're Shenhua's friend, aren't you? The name's Hazuki. Oh, oh, you look strong. Um, A young man like you needs a snake power. It's a bottle of snake power. Why this? Deadly snake venom fermented for three months. It's just one of the medicines that'll help you in battle. It'll fix you up good. I see, I think. I always sell it here at my shop in case you forget. Excuse me. What is it? I hear I can earn some money here. If you're chopping, I'm paying. Chopping wood? Yeah. Will you do it? This is good work. No, I'm good. Well, I ain't forcing you to do anything. The job will be waiting for you. Excuse me. Hmm, here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? A fight? Very well. At your level, Red Tiger should be a good match. You're no simple opponent. Yes, well done. That's enough to raise your rank. Thank you. Do not get complacent. You must aim ever higher. Excuse me. Hmm, here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? So you wish to fight? I believe Black Tiger will give you an appropriate challenge. Come on. 
That was quite the match. I didn't think you'd defeat him. Your rank has been raised. Keep up the good work. You're after a fight. Hmm. I think you will find Blue Tiger a most formidable opponent. Well done! You defeated Blue Tiger. Your rank rises without objection. Thank you. But this is not the end. Far from it. Which will it be? You certainly like to fight. Very well. I shall call on White Tiger. He has been very eager to face you in combat. I expect this will be a great fight. White Tiger! It has been some time since I've had such a fine trainee. That means just one more opponent stands in your way. Who? Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? So, you've chosen to fight? Then I shall be your opponent. You'll need a new strategy this time. You'll get no mercy from me. Got that? did you manage to? I must commend you. You are now the top-ranked fighter! No, I still have a ways to go. That's right. Maintain that mindset. Do not give in to pride. I won't. Excuse me. What do you want? What are you two doing here? Uh, there's something I want to ask. I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? Did you see two of them the other night? Yeah, a big man with long hair, and a man with a shaved head and a spider tattoo. Tell me more. They barged in during the middle of the night when I was sleeping. They kept yelling this and that about a stonemason. I told them they had the wrong house and drove them off. Then I went right back to bed. Is there anybody else? Do you know where they went after that? That I don't know. But I do know that there were other witnesses. A man I met at the bar was talking about it. He was a bookie with a scar on his face. What kind of scar? A big one. On his cheek. 
We should talk to him, Leon. Yes, let's go find him. Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? I think we should split up and look for the bookie. I'll search from here to the village square. You go from the village square to the next settlement. Got it. I'll see you later. Yeah. A scarred face. This must be the guy. Huh? You say something? There's something I want to ask. So what? You're not here to play? I'm looking for someone who's seen those thugs. Oh yeah, that guy. Where can I find him? I'll tell you after we play. Okay. Uh, lately, I'm not as good as I used to be. Why don't we let our throws do the talking? A challenge, huh? Yeah. Beat me and I'll tell you. How about it? Let's do this. I'm impressed. He still got a long way. I'm lost. You're pretty good. That's kind of you. Okay, my memory's been jogged a bit. <laughs> I'm looking for someone who's seen the thugs. Oh, yeah, those thugs. I heard they gave the bookie running the flower, bird, wind, and moon games some trouble. And the bookie is? I've only seen him when out drinking. Have no idea where he'd be now. More games. Excuse me. Hey there! Try your hand at Flower, Bird, Wind, and Moon. Care to try it, handsome? I just have a question. Aw, oh, why so serious, buddy? I hear those thugs cause some trouble. You're telling me! It was awful! What happened? I'll tell you all about it, if you play around. You gotta win, naturally! <laughs> I'll have to collect your bed in advance. All right. Which do you bet on? Flower, bird, wind, or moon? Coming in. Like you beat me! Things are just heating up! What happened with the thugs? They came in here, busted everything up, and stole my money! I've lost a fortune! I'll make this right, I promise. Tell me more. All right, might as well. Two of them came here that night. One was a big, long-haired guy. The other had his head shaved showing off his spider tattoo. A big, long-haired guy and a bald man with a spider tattoo on his head. Got it. They kept threatening me, asking where the stonemason lives. I tried to act tough. Told them to have a look around the village square so they'd buzz off. So that's how they found Joe and Wong's houses. Then they came back to yell at me because they didn't find who they wanted. I handed over some money and they let me go, saying something about the Sunflower Grove. The Sunflower Grove. Got it. Thanks. That's a huge help. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house.
Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I'm heading for the Sunflower Grove. I heard that's where the thugs went. Are you serious? If you find them, then you should be able to find out where my father is. That's the plan. Don't worry, I'll find them. Thank you so much. What's the Sunflower Grove like? It's jam-packed with sunflowers, for starters. It's quiet out there, just flowers and some old ladies raising cattle. That sounds nice. Kids like to play around there, though, so it can get a bit loud. I hope they don't get mixed up with those thugs. Me too. I really hope I find those thugs tomorrow. Me too. Before they bother any of the kids. Agreed. Please be careful, okay? Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? It gets really quiet at night, doesn't it? And pitch black once the sun sets. You shouldn't go out after dark. Good point. There aren't any street lights out here either. Everyone turns in early, too. Well, aside from Sunset Hill, it's always busy out there. Really? What's the attraction out there? The bars that open up at night. There are bars in the village? Sure are. That's where all the adults go to drink and talk. Loudly. Do you want to go see it for yourself? Hmm. Okay. I'll check it out. I'll go with you when you do. You will? All right. Say, Leo. Yeah? Tell me about where you were born. You want to know about Yokosuka? If that's where you were born, then yes. Yeah. I was born there. What's it like? Yokosuka is home to Dobuita. A dobu... what? Is that some sort of food? Uh, no. It's the name of an area in Yokosuka. You sure have some funny town names over in Japan. It's a really popular shopping district. So where'd that name come from? Why Dobuita? Um, I... I'm not really sure. You don't know? I thought you were born in Yokosuka. I was, but it's been called Dobuita ever since I can remember. So I never questioned the name, really. Okay. Well, what's in Dobuita? There's a shop called Komine Bakery. Is it a dim sum place? No. It's different from the buns you have here in China. Oh, really? The outer layer is baked until it's crisp, but the inside is soft. That sounds pretty good. It is, especially fresh from the oven. I'd like to try some. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? What's your father like? He's rather strict, I think. You think? Yes, but I can tell it's all because he loves me so much. I know what you mean. My father was the same way. He's also my teacher. I learned a great deal from him. Your teacher? How so? He taught me all about the mountains, the animals, and the Lijiang River. He taught me everything I needed to know to survive in Guiling. Wow. He sounds like a good father. There was one thing I taught him, though. Oh, yeah? What's that? How to cook. I'm way better at it. Oh, I see. I can't argue there. Everything you've made has been delicious. He did the cooking when I was little, but I've taken over for him. Oh, yeah? He'd get this sour look on his face and say, Wish I could chisel half as good as you cook. Say, Leo. Yeah? What was your father like? He was... A strict martial arts master. Oh, right. Your father taught you martial arts. He didn't go easy on me, either. I never got a break, 
no matter how many times he threw me down. That sounds harsh. I thank him for it now, though. I wouldn't be where I am without his training. I believe it. He did his best to build me up. Well, I think he did a great job. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liu? I've been thinking about Yuan. What about him? What was the drawing of the mirror in his room? I have no idea. Did he ever tell you anything about it? Not a thing. I'd never even seen it before. Hmm. He always told me never to touch his work desk. I see. The pattern on his mirror, the phoenix mirror, and the carving in the cave. They've got to be connected somehow. I think you're right. They could also be linked to his disappearance. We should ask around for more information about your father. Good idea. Say, Leo. Yeah? One more question about your father. Go ahead. What did he do? He ran the Hazuki Dojo. So he was a martial arts instructor? Yeah, a tough one. His students feared him. Did he scare you too? No, he didn't scare me. Not even a little? I haven't feared a single opponent I've ever faced. That includes my father. Impressive. You're a pretty tough guy. You think? I mean, I don't know. You're not sure? I want to get stronger as much as the next guy, but I'd never call myself tough. Why not? I feel like my father will come storming up to me the second I do, yelling, Don't be so full of yourself. <laughs> so he did scare you after all? Huh? No, I mean, he just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win. <laughs> 